There we are. All yours. I once there was a, a little girl called Sophie, and she was uh, having tea with her mum in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a canny ring at the door. Ling ling ling. Sophie's mum said, "Ee, I wonder who that can be." I, I didn't know who it can be. It can it, it can it be the milkman? Because he 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 came this morning, like you know. And then it, it couldn't be the the boy from the grocers, because it it ain't the day he comes. It, it cannot be Daddy, because he he ain't got his key. No, I know. We better open the door and see. So if we opened the door, and there was a geek big. Very stripey tiger. And the tiger said, uh, Excuse us, uh, but uh, like uh, I'm canny hungry. Do you think I could uh, have some tea with you? And Sophie's mum says, Well, of course, come in, pet, come in, pet, why are you? Come in. So the tiger came in the kitchen and sat on at the table, the geek big thing that he is. Sophie's mum says, uh, uh, would you like some sarnies? Would you like a few butties? I've got some on the table, like. But the tiger didn't just take one butty. He took all the butties on the plate. He swallowed them in at one geek big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him some cake and buns, like, you know. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. No, no, he didn't. No. He ate all the buns on the dish, then he ate all the biscuits, all the cake, until there was nought left to eat on the table. Not a thing. Nought. Sophie's mum said, eh, would you like a drink like, you know? You must be canny thirsty. And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Then, then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans, all the food in the fridge. Then he ate all the packets and all the tins in the cupboard. He drank all the milk, all the orange juice, all the daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. All the coots of pop. Ah. Then he said, thank you for me nice tea. I, I, I think I better go now, like, you know, I've, I've, I've filled me, I've filled me salary up now. That was lovely. That was a canny feed that. I did now what a day I've got nout for daddy's supper. The tiger's eaten it all. Sophie found she couldn't have a, a bath like because the tiger drank all of the water in the tap. Just then Sophie's daddy came and home. He came here and said, oh. and Sophie's mammy and her mammy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I ah, know what we'll do. I've got a canny idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. So out they went in the dark and all the street lamps were lit, were lit and all the cars had the lights on and they walked down the, to the cafe. And they had a lovely supper, you know. They did. They had sausages and chips and ice cream. And in the morning, Sophie and her mum went shopping and they bought loads and loads of things to eat. Loads and loads of scran. The baskets were full and they also bought a canny big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did, nah, did he hell? Goodbye, goodbye. Tatiya. <laughs>